And welcome back to Bar Fitness Podcast or TV, depends on where you're watching or you're listening. This is a podcast I use to document my journey, and I know I got a different scenery. I'm actually outside multitasking, uh, but nevertheless, I uh, got to keep the show going, got to bring you guys awesome guests. And um, and part, one, of, one of the reasons why I started this podcast was I wanted to give people an opportunity to share their story. And so this name we hear called a lot, whether it's uh, by accident or not. Or we see it on some of the uh, the promos uh, I have on today. None other than Shauna W. I'm gonna say W. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So Shauna, like I said, you get shouted out. It's either you or Shauna Gomez. So yeah, it's, it's uh, usually muscles. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. I want to give you an opportunity to uh, tell the people about your fitness journey. Uh, I always say your fitness journey up to E2M. Okay. Yeah. So um, I've been an athlete like my whole life. Um, I Soccer was like my main sport. But when I got to high school, I got into basketball and cross country and softball. And I think volleyball was the only sport I didn't get into. And it broke my mom's heart because that was her sport. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah. And uh, people joke, like when you go to college, you, you gain the freshman 15. I lost the freshman 15 because I wow. went to the Citadel, okay. which is uh, actually how I know Jeff. Yeah. So his college. He was, he's a couple years ahead of me. Um, but I, I was recruited to play soccer with them. So I went there and I was probably up until now in the best shape of my life at that point. Right. Um, and just a fun little aside. Um, I know we shouldn't care so much about weight, um, but we all do. Yes. But I was uh, in school, I was 165 pounds and in fantastic shape. But according to the army uh, weight standards, I was physically deficient. But I could like outrun wow. the boy, like for my height, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I could that makes it. Yeah. <laughs> but I could like outrun the boys and I like took it as a like, I got to prove myself <laughs> as a girl at the school, which is silly, right. but I did. Um, and then later on after college, you know, it's harder to keep consistent. So sure. my weight fluctuated, um, but I had a friend that needed to lose a lot of weight. And so we did a calorie counting weight loss mm. um, where we ate pretty much whatever we wanted, but kept it within a range. And I got down at that point to like 150, but I did not look good. Mm. Um, uh, but now, for example, I, I go between 145 and 50 and mm -hmm. um, I feel like I look the best I've ever looked in my life. So right. um, sorry. Let's see. Good. Okay. So I was in a reasonable shape after college. It went up and down, but then I had my first kid in 2017 and I gained a lot of weight because, uh, in pregnancy, I was like, I can eat whatever I want. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and I joined a, uh, afterwards I joined eight weeks after I had him a, like a six week boot camp that got me back into shape. And then I just went back to my normal life. Um, had my daughter in 2020, Mm -hmm. and gained a lot of weight and so I knew at that point I needed to do something again so I started looking for another like a challenge because mm. I'm super competitive and I came in second in that last boot camp and I was so mad so <laughs> I was like okay that I see that that motivates me mm -hmm, um, and mm -hmm. I had seen Jeff's posts about E2M but I didn't really even believe it was possible like I, I saw it and I, I knew he was trustworthy but it just seemed yeah. Like the after results were just better than I could have ever <laughs> dreamed. Right. I was like, right. I, I've been in shape, but I've never looked that good and I just can't do it. You know, whatever excuses. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I saw Josh Wells, his, okay. his, uh, post and he was at the Citadel too. And I was like, Oh snap. Okay. If he can do it, I can do it. That, that's, um, you know what? Let me break in. That's the right attitude when you see Josh. Cause Josh, I tell him all the time yeah. before E2M, bro, like you, you, you was a pipsqueak, but now he's a tough and rough guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah. Kidding. And he, he won, I think that round, he won the weight loss, like the max yeah. weight loss. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. crushed it. And I, and that's the other thing is that's about how much weight I wanted to lose. And I was like, mm -hmm. I'll do it. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but um, so I just had my baby. I actually had a lot of complications in my pregnancy. So I was really hoping the doctor would say I couldn't do physical activity yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But um, she cleared me the Monday that the round started. Oh, wow. And I messaged the coaches and I was like, I'm breastfeeding. I can't do this, can I? And they're like, sure you can. I'm like, right. dang, it. dang it, I got to do it. Uh, and then then we're starting. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Um, you know, it, it's funny how you try to come up with all the excuses and all the <laughs> yeah. things and and it didn't work out for you. I love no, that so much. I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you came in on the early days. What was the what was the number? Uh, uh, I think in? I think it was around five thousand. Like when That's my amazing. whole round had gotten in. Yeah, it was. It was. I actually just celebrated my two year anniversary. So congratulations. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty yes. cool. Yes. Yeah, 5,000 people. I was just telling somebody, um, you know, we, we encourage all the new people to watch Jeff's lives every mm -hmm. night, like do it, just do it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have that. Uh, he only used to do lives once a week mm. when, back when I started. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like it, it, he keeps saying he ups his game and he really does every time. Yeah, you're, you're a testament of that. Somebody has been in the game two years, you know, all the things added. I mean, I've been in it for a year and there's so many things that he's added just in this mm -hmm. year. Um, so I definitely, definitely get that. All right. So jumping in, just had a baby breastfeeding. How was that week one for you coming back, uh, postpartum as they call it just for somebody that might be watching or listening that that's thinking about not joining. Cause they just had a baby. <laughs> well, the good news <laughs> if you're breastfeeding <laughs> is you get to eat a lot more food. <laughs> there you go. So I didn't have a really terrible, um, detox like everybody else did mm, gotcha. and I couldn't I couldn't ever figure out every every time the fruit went away everyone would be like no fruit I was like it's not that bad guys but I got to eat fruit every day so <laughs> <laughs> not that bad for you yeah so it wasn't that bad but the workouts uh they definitely kicked my butt I remember that very first circuit you know as an athlete you think you know I could I could do it I could do anything I'm, I'm even when you're out of shape like I got it when I couldn't do mountain climbers on the ground like I had to take it up to like when my kids play toys oh that was that was humbling that was really humbling and I look back at those pictures and I'm just like oh my gosh I just couldn't believe that I let myself go so far yeah yeah those pictures don't lie they will no. not lie and I remember kind of like you those mountain climbers and push-ups and planks yep. mm -hmm. I remember like feeling like like why am I sliding in this trash bag all over the floor <laughs> You know, it's like sweating, well, sweating like a hog. What is going on here? Well, and that's the other thing. I, I wasn't allowed to wear the, uh, the sweatsuit. Oh, so you so missed I that have, part. I missed that part. Now, I added it in a few rounds ago, and I finally... Okay, um, okay. And that, yeah, that thing's for real. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's a game changer, for sure. All of my friends, all of my friends who have joined um, that aren't breastfeeding... They come at they come at me at, at week one and they're like, <laughs> you did not tell me about this and about that. And I'm like, oh, because right. I never had to do that. I'm sorry. The fasting, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to fast. Like all I missed that, that part. Like, oh, man, sorry. Like you set me up. <laughs> that is so funny. That is hilarious. So Shauna, being in the group for so long, seeing it grow over the years, um, what would you say? Uh, what, what would be your words when, when someone asks you about the community and, and how E2M is as a family, E2M fit fam? Just, it really is unbelievable. And it's hard for me to put it into words because I, I'm an introvert and I'm the type of person that if you try to sell me on something that's like, oh, it's got great community. I'm actually like, oh, I don't know. About that. <laughs> um, as a turnoff. <laughs> kind of. Um, and so I, I, I don't know how to praise it enough in a way to communicate to people that are like me sure. I, it's it's something I never knew I needed mm. um but it's obviously made all the difference mm -hmm. um I uh, that's probably one of my regrets that I didn't dig in more and even now still I'm, I get nervous um sure. but it, just in the last couple of weeks I've gotten to connect with some amazing people um like Robin and yeah. uh, doing the planking and um we're just having so much fun and encouraging people and it's uh man it's it's just great it, yeah I don't know how to 
praise it enough. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it really is. And it's funny, you made a statement. That was one of the first statements I ever made when it came to uh, when Jeff brought me on live one time was, you know, the community was something I never knew I needed. Mm -hmm. but I was glad when I found it, you know? Um, yeah. and that, and that's the exact feeling like you, you, you don't know the importance of it until you have it. Um, and then I want to pause and thank you for coming on my show as an introvert. Most <laughs> introvert people turn me down in the inbox. Uh, Shauna really? Gomez. I, I, I called out. Oh, I'm no. gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out. <laughs> but I get, I get turned down a lot. Um, which I find it interesting that even though these people have these, uh, I guess, uh, traits or whatever, and E2M, I wouldn't know that because you feel so comfortable to yes. share and to, you know, to to uh, talk about your results and and celebrate one another. So that's that's wonderful. So, well, listen, before we get out of here, I always like to uh, give you an opportunity to speak to that person that is on the outside looking in, uh, thinking about joining the program. What would be your words of encouragement to them? Just do it. Like it, even if, even if it's terrible, you've only paid for one round and anytime <laughs> you want, you can come back. Like it, it's one of those things. I have a couple of friends who I think would love it and they still haven't jumped in even after two years of seeing my results. And all I can think is they're going to be so mad that they didn't yes. do it sooner. Yes. Um, waiting for the right time or I'll do it on my own. Like, Oh, it just, it breaks my heart. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just do it. Just do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Yeah. Like I, I think maybe this is a, I wanted to mention, I, my husband doesn't do E2M and he probably never will. I'll probably have a heart attack if he does. <laughs> like, oh, wow. He, just, he doesn't work out. He doesn't do yeah. any of that. Okay. Um, and so I've done, I've done this without my spouse, which I know, you know, you see the, the Hans of the world and yes. I mean, you guys, and I, it's it's hard for me not to get jealous sometimes. <laughs> sure. But like, sure. but it can be done. I, I hear some some women, even guys, say like, "Oh, I, I can't do it without my spouse," and it's hard for sure. But he supports me. He's wonderful. Um, but I'm glad you, know you brought I mean? that up. I, I no. didn't I didn't know that fact. I'm glad you brought that up before we got out because somebody need to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because because you know, like you said, the Hans. You know, the mm -hmm. I call them the Wonder Twins. They look cute every morning working out, and I got uh, other friends. Um, you know, even with my wife, uh, even though we're, we're kind of in it together, we're, we're on different, you know, different pace when it comes to our journey, which is okay. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, I'm, I'm a up early workout car, you know, circuits, get it done. You know, she might trot down there about nine to 10, get on the treadmill <laughs> or something. You know, we both work from home, but it's, it's her okay. pace. But, uh, but I mean, it, it just goes to show, I think not seeing a uh, husband join late. So that's, you know, yeah. you just never know. Um, and, and and, you know, this this podcast is, uh, you know, uh, I'm a believer. My listeners know that um, a lot of times your example as a wife, uh, just doing it and not, you know, talking about it can be the very thing that lead them. So I appreciate <laughs> you uh, you sharing that. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I, uh, awesome. No. All right. Good deal. So. All right. Well, I appreciate you again, Shauna, coming on the show. This is super fun. Glad to uh, uh, hear your story a little bit. And uh, definitely have to shout out Robin, the, the smiling planker. And mm -hmm. and you guys need your, I need like a side show with you guys just <laughs> doing your thing. Like, like have like an extra segment on my YouTube channel where y'all come on and do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But that'd be um, so fun. yeah, you guys, you guys, I love watching you guys just kind of just chit chat and plank and <laughs> have fun. I just, I, it just boggles my mind. I'm like, they, you know, they take one of the things everybody hates and they're hates. making it just pleasant. So uh, def <laughs> definitely have to shout you guys out for that. So, That's all right, all gang. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We tell Rob we're gonna make this an actual show. We'll do it. We'll turn it into something. So, all right, y'all. We appreciate you listening to the Bar Fitness Podcast. Tune in every Tuesday, Thursday for the YouTube channel. Monday through Friday, you can check us on the podcast. Just search Bar Fitness Podcast. I close the show the same way every week. Remember, First uh, Timothy four eight. Paul says it's good to take care of the physical body, but we also have to take care of our spiritual. So until next time, God bless, and we are out. <laughs>